Hello my gorgeous Taurus, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely wonderful. Taurus, I want to jump straight in, I don't want to lose any time, but this particular reading for this week is dedicated for my beautiful Taurus that are 100% single and perhaps we'd like to know, well, is there new love out there for me? So if you are already in a committed relationship and if it's going great, fantastic, you know, or if it's on again or off again, or if you're wondering about someone from the past, it's probably definitely not your reading, but I do encourage you to check out your dedicated playlist because in your playlist, if you scroll down, all of our readings are timeless from Gigi and myself. Just go and just look at a topic there because we always, always have different topics. There definitely will be one that kind of jumps out at you or that you feel very drawn to. So these are some of the energy oracle cards that I'll be using to wrap up the reading. That's our clarifying deck. All right. So Taurus, I really want to kind of find out where you are at. I want to know who this new person is. Primarily, where are you going to meet them? And especially with the time frame, I do want to be quite generous, but I do want to give you some indication there. Um, and also what's going on in their life. Uh, as well. So I'll be doing the spread a bit different, but I'll explain it in just a minute. Just got a bit of stuck energy there. Okay, nothing bad. So for my beautiful Taurus, 100% single, looking for new love, not interested in the past. Let's see. All right, they're showing me the number eight. Your birthday may fall on the number eight. It could be them. You know, um, this new person could be on the 8th, could be 8 days, 8 weeks. I'm not picking up 8 months, actually, I'm not. I feel this is a bit, because they're telling me something about urgency. Perhaps we need to pay attention to the reading then. All right. Now, feel free to fast forward this, only because my spirit team are telling me to just do it two more times. Last one. All right, three, two, one. Oh, hang on, I'm just gonna sneeze. I don't wanna sneeze, I'm on the microphone. My apologies for that, Taurus. I have terrible, absolutely terrible um, um, allergies. And the last thing I wanna do is actually sneeze you know, into the microphone. All right, here we go. So this is how I'm going to do it. Three cards down on this side will be you, Taurus your energy, it might even show what you were putting up with in the past, your energy now, what you want for the future. Three cards down here will be your person. What are they going through? What about their past? Everything that has led them to this moment and also how they view you. And three cards down in the middle here will be mutual energies. Both that you can, um, energies that you both agree on, you both think, you both feel, you both want. So without further ado, let's do this. Okay, we do have the bottom of the deck. We have the Six of Swords, Six of Air. I love that. Look at that relief, hope, moving on, Aquarius energy. Some of you may meet this person overseas. If any of you wish to travel, whether it's for pleasure or work, because we do have the body of water there, but I like to be a bit more generous. Even if you're traveling interstate, overseas, um, or even a couple of hours drive within your own state, what I like is that it's going to be an easy relationship here. It's going to be smooth sailing, right, into the lake of tranquility. All you have to do is dock your um, boat there and then your person's there. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Taurus. Either yeah, yeah, this person actually could be very worldly traveled. They could, or I don't know why I'm hearing they could be an entrepreneur. We'll see with how the other cards translate to that. Yeah, they could be from a different cultural background, have a, a very slight, a very light accent here. But this is during movement, during travel here. You know what? My hat goes off to you, Taurus, because I just want you to know that this new relationship is going to be smooth sailing because you, that's you, five of pentacles, Taurus energy. You're moving away from probably one of the most stressful relationships you have probably ever experienced in your life. Now, I don't want to talk about the past. That's the thing. But to understand where you are now and where you're going, we do need to understand the past. We do we need to acknowledge it. Many of you actually felt very rejected, very iced out, left out in the cold, ghosted, blocked, because someone that you were with, that you had the best intentions, you thought, I'm gonna be vulnerable with you and all this, I love you and all that, they left you out in the cold. What I love is that you're moving away from this. We've got the lovers, 
Gemini energy. You really loved the last person you were with, but boy, did they cause you a lot of stress. We've got double Gemini energy here. They caused you a lot of negativity, a lot of worry, sleeplessness, but yet you still loved for this person, but you've got clarity. You're like, you know, I don't deserve this. I'm a freaking Taurus. Remember, you are the boss energy. You're being represented by one of the strongest land animals, which is the bull, right? So it's like, you know, F around and find out that you can't mess with Taurus. You've got clarity here. What you need to do, what you want in a person. My hat goes off to you. Let me split the deck. Yeah, you're going to meet someone. Now, listen, some of you may actually be with that Six of Swords, a little bit nostalgic over this past person. And that is normal because you are human and you have emotions. But you are about to meet someone with whom you have a past life relationship with. Just so you know, you might actually meet an old um, friend, an old high school friend here, or a friend even that you lost touch with. But I'm not getting at the moment that this is at all past person. And that was my deal. I did not want to focus on the past. But absolutely, you may have children. This new person may have children. They don't have to. The indication's there though. <clears throat> Excuse me, like there's, there's a chance, like a 1% chance. But we have past life memories with this person you've known them from a past life what i love that it's really taken a lot but you have done it you've moved on from this person congratulations taurus honestly it's not easy to do but you did it you did it on your own all right excellent oh look at that i just want to split the deck we have the high priestess pisces energy the High Priestess is all about mystery. You're about to meet someone that you've never met before. Now, for my Taurus, if you've just met someone and it's not official, but you're curious about them, you're going to find out a lot more about them. It does require a little bit more of patience as in getting to know them. Either way, I feel like for 95% of you, you haven't met this person. They are a stranger. We don't know who they are, but you had a past life connection with them. Three lines down, please, for Taurus. Three lines down for this new person, please. I feel like this new person is just going to give you peace, peace of mind. Yeah. Three lines down for mutual energies between the both of you. I'm sorry if you hear me sniffing again. I've just got the absolute worst allergies. Ah. All right. Let's talk about you. Let's make this a bit more neat. Let's talk about you. Ooh. Okay. This is good. Taurus, any offers that you get? that are non, not related to love, say yes, because we have the page of wands, right? Look at that creative, enthusiastic, motivated. You may receive a new job offer, for example, or you wanted to buy, or you wanted to you know, uh, lease a new property, and they say yes. Say yes to everything, because the page of wands is the bearer of good news. Once in a lifetime opportunities here. So yeah, I'm gonna say whatever you are applying for, whatever you are pitching, any changes that you are making, whether it is in your own home state or overseas or interstate, you're gonna receive good news. This is the catalyst. This is the actual, the springboard that once you say yes and we get out there, you're getting closer and closer to this person. So think of any changes that you want in your life. Think about, I want to apply for that job. I want to apply for that loan. I want to pitch this idea. I think there's a lot of potential there because you're a natural entrepreneur. I know that. <laughs> That's why I call you the OG, original boss, right? OB boss. Yeah. Anyway. Or yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, whatever you're applying for, whatever you want a yes to, you're going to get good news and that's going to take you closer to this person. Oh, beautiful. We've got renewal. So this is um, Scorpio energy. This is the judgment card. Wow. Why is it there, please? Because of the death card, Scorpio energy. I am very, very proud of you. Very proud of you. This is also the card of destiny here. You have also made a decision here for once and for all to close the door on your past because it had its purpose. It doesn't serve a purpose anymore for the present and for the future here. You've had a spiritual awakening. You have evolved here. You've actually changed spiritually to become a better person. You literally do not have a bad bone in your body. And I see here that whatever you are pitching or applying for, people will be judging you, but they're gonna say, yeah, Taurus is fantastic, I want this. So many of you might meet this person. Even if you have to travel for work, many of you might meet this person through creative projects, endeavors, um, new work, for example. Um, uh, even if you're pitching, New team members, that's where this person is here. And look at that, we've got the phoenix there, rising from the ashes. So you are ending all the stuff in your life, whether you realize it or not, it's only because you're promoting these changes in your life. 
You're saying, all right, goodbye, no more, lock the key, throw it away. We close that vault, we spin it, we forget about it. That is fantastic though. Judgment only appears when you are ready for things to actually start moving, for them to start speeding up to you. You're more than ready. And that's the 2.0 version of you. Let's talk about this person, please. Ooh, seven of wands, Leo energy. So they're a little bit guarded. Okay. I think, yeah, they are circling around your professional life. Um, we do have the page of uh, pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And yet your person has experienced some form of loss with that four of cups. Um, that is cancer energy here. Both of you have experienced loss, but I feel here you're on top of this. Your person, it's like it's simmering there underneath. So the seven of wands, your person is up for any challenge. They have determination that despite everything, your person is probably going to go above and beyond and do whatever it takes here to win you over. Wow. They may believe here that you have other competition. Like there's no way in hell that Taurus is 100% single. What's the catch? They've got to be with someone, a boyfriend. They've got to be engaged here, um, a husband, long-term relationship and all this. This person will actually fight for you to get your attention, right? And they will be messaging you. Some of you will actually study with this person. You work with them. Um, they could even just be connected somehow to your finances, your career. It could be a new client, a new colleague, um, a new boss. Look at that. They want to see you face to face. They're going to ask you out. But what is it with your person's self-esteem here? Something with their confidence that they're already assuming that you're going to say no, but they're still going to send it. See, pages, yes, they're messages, but they're nothing big. It's not groundbreaking. It's not like, oh my God, look at this gesture. I just feel like I always do this with feet. It's like they're testing the waters here, but they're already assuming that you're going to say no. There is something here to do with their confidence and self-esteem. But yet on a good day, it's like, I want to fight for you. So really, I kind of feel that if you are like changing jobs, moving houses, Whatever offers you get, if you take a new job, if they pitch something, this person is somehow, some way, yes, they're connected to your career, to your finances, your study, creative projects around there, things that you love, even hobbies or hobbies turned into a career. I'm hearing some of you are doing candle making, candles or candle making. They love it. They support you in that. Mutual energies, please. Ooh, we got the king of wands. Look at that. So both of you here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, you're both very ambitious here. I'm hearing that some of you may work in the same industry, in the same building, and they just keep staring at you. You walk and you feel like someone is staring at you here. That's you, the seven of pentacles. That's my investment card. So that is Taurus energy. So if you want to get into property investment, yeah, you want to invest into a new business, you want to do Forex, you want to do shares, you want to do Bitcoins, options, whatever it is here, literally you're going to make money grow on trees here. They say money doesn't grow, grow on trees, but you make it happen, right? Now, going more towards here, that's why I kind of really feel that this person is connected to your professional life, yes? And I feel like they're already, they're already spinning around here in your energy. They're already hanging around. This is fantastic. And they're going to see the best version of you. But this person, yeah, okay, they, there's something here too with their self-esteem and confidence. I'm not really going to beat them up with it because we all suffer from bouts of low self-esteem and confidence here. I feel like your person's a bit lonely. They may suffer a little bit from you know, victim mentality, a bit of melancholia here. But yeah, this is definitely someone that wants to invest in this relationship. Look how happy they are, the fact that they're going to ask you out. <laughs> and when they do that, it's like, yeah, but Taurus is probably going to say no. All right, what else do we have between the both of you, please? This is my, my second favorite card in the entire deck. This might happen within two months. Keep your eyes and your ears open. It's also known here, the Two of Cups, Cancer Energy, as the card of true love. The Ace of Cups, Two of Cups is true love. And I never say that lightly, but there is very strong love here. A very deep soul um, relationship, partnership, commitment here. And we both mirror each other. So what does that mean? We both feel the same. We think the same. We want the same. Things that we don't want, we both agree on that. This is the ultimate partnership here. I don't know why I keep seeing a building um, where you work and that person's there. They could also work in the bank, be a, even just like an advisor, an investor. Ooh. Start saying yes. Any Look at that, I'm getting caught with my, my microphone wire. Um, you're gonna start receiving excellent news here. And without even realizing, without even trying hard, you get closer to this person, they see you, it's like, 
I need to make a beeline to Taurus. I see here you're both ambitious. It's like instant physical attraction at first sight. Yeah, we invest in this, and then I think you're gonna both of you are gonna fall in love very quickly here. And you know what? You, sometimes I've heard people saying to me, "Okay, well, I, I work from home, right? I don't have that many friends. My social circle is pretty much zero. I'm like a hermit, you know, Virgo energy. You know that wise sage. Um, I don't know anyone. It's okay." Because either way, you still have to work and talk and correspond with people and that's where it comes. It's like that one email, that one yes, that one good news that you get is that springboard. It's that catalyst to get closer to this person. This is it. Here we go. Let's get more information, please, for my beautiful Taurus. Three, two, last one. Oh, okay, the cards really want to go everywhere. Oh, that's a all right. That one wants to go on its own. Okay, why am I hearing the word reincarnation? Now, I did see the Six of Cups before. So, you've known each other in past lives, you were meant to meet each other again. What's the card that came out? Oh, the magician, beautiful. You have both manifested each other without even probably even realizing. Although, I'm hearing Taurus, some of you actually have. A gratitude journal with pictures in it or uh, what do they call it um, a mood board with all your goals yeah and it's beautiful Gemini Virgo energy now both of you have all the tools on the table to make this work the magicians looking to the future look at that that is beautiful the ace of Pentacles is behind I absolutely love this that's fr fresh brand new beginnings <laughs> oh my god do not wait we got to rewind this wasn't I just talking about the six of cups we've got the six of cups again um, okay so for those that have been following me for a while, you realize that I pick up on messages and energies well before I actually see the card. So if this is already cementing that you've known this person before. You've absolutely, you've met them before. And I'm hearing that you're actually going to be also best friends. Both of you are still healing a bit from the past though. <sighs> yeah. You know, the past few Taurus has not been easy. It's been very tumultuous. And your, for your person as well, yours might be a little bit more recent though. Yeah, we've got the Ten of Swords, literally considered the most challenging or the worst card in the deck, Gemini energy. You know what it feels like because with your past, you've experienced some trauma where, you know, we've got loss, ending, separation, divorce, very sad endings where you feel very betrayed by this person. So here you are staying in your own lane with that Four of Swords, Libra energy, you're healing yourself, you're contemplating about your future here. Yeah, one thing, I, you know what I love about you? You're getting the hermit, and I just, I weird because I spoke about the hermit before, that is the wise sage Virgo energy and the five of swords, Aquarius energy. Now you're really realizing with your wisdom and your experience here when dealing with people is that you will never ever accept the five of swords. If this person, for example, shows any sign of selfishness, it's like here today, gone tomorrow, they promise something that I do it, you're like, no. Because this person is going to realize one way or another, even if they, you know, they're a fantastic soul and you've known each other in past lives, I feel like you're going to be best friends as well. They just know that they can't F around with Taurus. I always say this, F around, find out, you're going to regret it. Let me split the deck. Three of Wands. It's like your souls have been waiting for each other all this time. Aries energy. You're not going to have to wait that much longer. Absolutely not. You're not going to be single that much more longer. Wow. And remember, when judgment is present, things are going to happen a lot more faster. Let's talk about you with that page of wands. Oh my God, we can literally end the reading right here. I want you to really, really listen to these words, Taurus. This person is going to make you very happy. You are going to be happy, not because of superficial things, but we're talking about that internal happiness when we feel really giddy because whatever's coming your way, it's the sun, Leo energy. And it's my number one, my number one favorite card. I've got the Sun, Two of Cups, that's my favorite card, of course, and the Four of Wands. They're just my favorite, but the number one is like literally happiness, pure joy, bliss, blessing. So if you're applying for a job, you're pitching, you want to learn, whatever it is that you need someone else to say yes to, not only are they going to say yes, but they're going to surpass your expectations. And that's when the wheels get into motion and the rest is history and we meet this person. Let's talk about judgment. What's judgment bringing you is the Three of Pentacles. Excellent Capricorn energy. So again, this person is strongly tied to your professional life. The team makes the dream work. You want them to be on the same page. They want to be on, you know, 
on board with you. You're, it's about cooperation. The team makes the dream work here. Wow. If you are definitely changing jobs, changing your home address too, but it's something to do with your career, whatever you're pitching, this person is going to be taken aback by you. You just wanted someone to be your best friend. And the stuff that you want is free. A hug, love, loyalty, respect, trust. You're getting all of it from this person. Let's see what else with the death card, please. What are we releasing? What's the 2.0 version? Oh my God. Ah, many people are going to wish that they were Taurus because you've got the lovers. Number six, sixes are all about healing, peace, balance, forgiveness, Gemini energy. Wow. Soulmate connections, soulmate contracts here. This is absolutely beautiful. I think you're going to be... Now, if you don't believe in love at first sight, that's fair enough. But consider being smitten at first sight, right? Be taken aback that we can't stop thinking about them. They're going to leave a lasting impression here. Your spirit team are urging you make a decision from your heart, even if we don't feel ready, if we feel scared, because we've been hurt so much in the past, right? They want you to remember that this person should not pay for the past, but you already know that. You're, you're very intelligent, Taurus. Not everyone is going to be your ex. This, look at this. Oh my God. Let's talk about your person, please, with that um, seven of wands, because I kind of feel like they have to... I don't know why they're anticipating they're gonna to have to fight for your attention fight to get you alone so no one else is watching but here they come and what are they bringing please the ace of wands look at that aries leo sagittarius energy new beginnings but this is a different type of beginning this is a fiery passionate exciting butterflies in your stomach um exciting stuff there's a lot of attraction here this person is super attracted to you. wow I'm just hearing that can't stop thinking about he's like once they see you it's like oh my god who was that i need to know who taurus is <laughs> again they are strongly connected to either your studies your career your finances um anything to do with your professional life okay the page of pentacles please is clarified by the queen of cups they're gonna oh my god you know what i actually really like how this person is going above and beyond to get your attention even though they're probably thinking listen i'm gonna try but they're probably going to reject me i don't think you will they're going to make their feelings known to you. It's like, hey, you know what, Taurus, for example, um, I really like you. I think we have a lot in common. What they really want to say is I'm head over heels um, and I never believed in true love, but now I do. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This person loves you and they're going to love you very hard. I kind of feel they're going to love. They're probably going to be the first to say I love you first versus you to them. If there's anything wrong with that. You only say it when you're ready. Four of Cups, please. Let's talk about yeah, they're going to be watching you. This person's going to be like spying. Now, usually I would say you're going to meet this person online. I'm not getting that. No. And look at that. The sword's pointing down. There's still a lot that this person has not said to you because we haven't met them yet, right? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, the true communicator, the ultimate messenger right here. There is so much that they want to tell you. And I feel here also that they are suffering a bit from depression. I'm hearing it's like they're a functioning Someone has functioning depression here, but this is because a bit of trauma from their past, though. We all have trauma. I don't like to use the word baggage, but each one of us watching this video, including myself, we all have a history. We all have a story to tell, right? Um, I just feel that they're looking, if you are easily accessible online, they want to see, is Taurus single? Is there a chance that for any insane reason that they might say no to me here? They're very good with communication, though. They might be asking around, hey, you know Taurus? So what's their deal? What's their situation? I'm kind of hearing them talk like that. I'm also hearing that they're going to find out if you are really single or not, because they might say something like, oh, you know, um, Taurus, you better run home to your boyfriend or your girlfriend. And if you were to correct them saying, I don't, it's like, yes, Taurus is single. So it's like a very, very creative way. This person's very inquisitive here, very intelligent too. Let's talk about this King of Wands. I see you both taking action. What else is it that's happening between the both of you? You both bring temperance. This is beautiful. Sagittarius energy. We both bring peace. We bring balance. We bring harmony. And we're both patient with one another. And we both agree here that there is no reason that we need to like fast. Like, you know, we have to say, I love you. We have to do this. We have to do these milestones. No, we both complement each other. There's equal give and take. I see that you want to take it slow two of wands i think both of you are going to agree this is going to be a very easy decision um aries energy again i'm kind of picking up that this person could be a foreigner they might have a very uh a beautiful i'm hearing a very smooth like a beautiful milk and honey accent I, I don't know why i said that but it's something that you actually absolutely love hearing when this person talks though um there could be a lot of travel involved here with work as well 
but look at that. It's like the two of wands is decisions, a crossroads. Should I, should I not? It's an easy decision. Yes, because of that, a two of cups. And we have the queen of wands. So pay attention. We've got the king of wands at the start. We end with the queen of wands. You are a perfect match. You get inside jokes. You complement each other. So we've got very healthy and very strong equal amounts of the passionate side. So the physical side of the relationship and the emotional side here as well. Oh, wow. Taurus, you know what? I'm really happy for you. You deserve this because your past has not been easy. Tell me to take out seven cards now. Thank you, spirit. You know, I just kind of feel I need to do that. Thank you. What do the romance angels, please? Thank you. Want to tell you. Is this one? Oh, they're saying, oh, and it dropped. They're saying yes. I don't want to see what the card is because I like to watch. <laughs> I like to find out at the same time with you. I don't know why they're telling me that this one is uh, more about your person. Bottom of the deck. Well, there we go. That's the passionate side of the relationship, the physical side. Beautiful. And it's going to happen very soon. Excellent. You're going to have to decide. But I think it's going to be an easy decision for you. Your person is worried. I told you that there's not going to be enough attraction, unrequited love. They think you're going to like dump them or like you're going to leave them. You're going to reject them. I'm interested. They're saying this card is about your person. What do we have? Oh, playfulness. That's why you've got the perfect match. The king and the queen of wands. You get each other. Look at that. You have fun. You have inside jokes. You giggle. I love this. Yeah, this is for you. Give your relationship a chance. Don't say no straight away. They may be different from your usual expectations or usual type. All right, moving on. What else do we have? This could be the one. Now it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. That's only for like five or six of you that have just met this person. And of course, the rest of you, you have not met this person yet, but they're telling you that, uh, excuse me, this could be the one. Ooh, what else do we have? Express your love. I think this is for both of you. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It's like, it's safe to love this person, Taurus. You've, you know, you've been through quite a lot. Wow. So this is the message for your person. What is it, please? Yeah, stay optimistic. Well, obviously, yeah, look at that positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic about your love life because I feel like we've got unrequited love. They've got the four of cups and stay optimistic. It's almost like you're, they're seeing you that you're, they're probably intimidated or you're too good for them. You're too attractive, stuff like that. So there's something here that, you know, just a bit with their self-esteem and their confidence, please. Yep, perfect time to get to know each other. Really just being honest, reveal our past, what we want now, what we want for the future, what are the deal breakers. Because I feel this person is, I feel like they're very intelligent here. I'm hearing that there's something like they're a pro with computers, IT, software, development, game development, something like that. But um, if something goes wrong with the computer, I'm, I would want to talk to this person because honestly, I'm a bit old school still. They're telling me to take out five cards. Thank you, spirit. So why five? Five is all about changes, isn't it? It's about movement. If I were to take out any other cards, it would just, it wouldn't really relate to um, the collective watching this. Nope. Ah, well, see, that's the one. Now, these cards may show also um, what your person is also still dealing with, but also um, current energies. <laughs> You're not going to see this coming. We've got the shock card. Sudden change, shocking news, surprises, epiphany, transformation. Oh, wow. This is going to come out of the blue. But this is the thing. This is a heads up. We already know we've seen it here. It is on its way. The relationship and this person. Let me split the deck. Oh, teddy bear. Interested in you. Blooming romance, flirting, wanting to date. This is beautiful. God, I wish I was Taurus. This is beautiful. Yep, excellent. Look at that. This is for both of you. Ascending, learning, expansion, transcending, preparing for union, a new phase. I'm really proud of you, Taurus, honestly, because some other people would just say stuck in the past and say, well, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I've given up on love, but not you. You've got the sun. It is literally the, one, the number one happiest, but the most powerful card in tarot. Excellent. We've got the butterfly. It's, I know it's a bit hard to read, but it says evolving and growth. Next phase, healing inner child, releasing the past. That's exactly what you're doing. And as I'm doing that, I'm looking out the window and there's a crow. 
eating something, um, feel free to email me. What does a crow mean? Okay, now I'm seeing two. All right. It's very rare for, for me to see birds here. What what does that mean? Um, yeah, this could be what you're... This, I feel like this is what both of you, especially you, were dealing with here in the past. Heartbreak, pain, separation, loss, deception, lies, a shocking attack here. But look at that. You're like the butterfly coming out of chrysalis. I know that they said that the crows are also messengers of something, you know, from like the underworld or perhaps you're being protected by spirit here. Yeah, your person at the start will be wearing a mask, hiding their true feelings, pretending, delude. I don't think the gaslighting and personified, no, because we could have gotten way more challenging cards in the tarot. And for me personally, tarot cards are a lot more powerful than like oracle cards because they just get straight to the point, right? They could be hiding their feelings for a while, deluding themselves that Taurus is going to say no. Well, excuse me, happy Halloween. We have, I say happy Halloween because it's one of my favorite seasons, but we have engagement ring, higher commitment, eternity, partnership, and union completion. This is beautiful. What's the last one? This is good. I want to see this. Don't be worried. We have the death card. This relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. Now, I did see the Six of Cups twice. So this is your heads up. If a past person ever tries to come back, you're going to say, no, you're in the vault. Let's spin it. That's it. The past is dead. It served its purpose then, not now. You're going like you're the butterfly here. Remember why you broke up with that person, why they left you. This person clearly backstabbed you. I don't like your past person. This new person, though, like I'm lost for words. They're bringing you the sun. They're bringing you the ace of wands. You've got the king and the queen of wands. This is your, your compatible. This is the one. This is your perfect match. So think of your professional life. Any area of your professional life, even if it's doing accounting or if it's, you know what, I've got to go and stock up. I've got to buy stuff for the business. Whatever it is, that's where you meet this person and you get closer and closer together until literally some of you will get engaged to this person pretty soon. But of course, this means that higher level of commitment. Yes, power to you, Taurus. I'm so excited for you. I will see you in the next few days. And always remember, Taurus, always remember that you are in control. The tarot gives you power, never takes power away from you. I love this. 100% free will. Bye.